In November last year, I went to Ripon Cathedral and saw the fantastic Fields of Mud, um, Seeds of Hope art installation that Dan Metcalf had put in. And I saw as part of the blurb that he was a former student of the college. So I contacted him to pass on my congratulations and to explain that I'm one of the soil science lecturers here. And he got back in touch and said, actually, is there anything that we can do? Um, because he wanted to know more about the textures of the soils that he was working with. The aim is that next year he'll be able to replicate the artwork either in Passchendaele itself or somewhere else. And he needs to find places where he can get soil that will have the same qualities as those that he's used from the First World War battlefields. So we've used the um, experience, we've taken 12 of Dan's samples from all over um, northern Belgium and France from the battlefields and with the students today we've monitored them for sand, silt and clay and that process involves drying them in a kiln um, obviously wearing gloves because we don't know what contaminants are still in those soils, they are still historic sites. We have ground them up and put them through sieves and the sieves sieve out the different particle sizes. We've weighed those samples and we've worked out the relative proportions. Interestingly they are much more sandy than we thought they would be. We anticipated they would be clay soils um, but they have got quite a range of different soils from different areas. So the next point um, for me is to be looking at the British soil maps, the UK soil maps like the one behind me and then mapping it to French and Belgian maps and seeing if we can identify areas that Dan can use for further art installations. He's going to bring some of the soil, the Passchendaele soil with poppy seeds to the campus and we're going to sow that and have a memorial service here um, because obviously we were founded for the Women's Land Army in the Second World War so we have very strong links with, um, with the military and, um, and that's going to be a really useful learning opportunity for students as well as they re-sow with the poppy seeds every year so we can have a continual memorial to his work and to the First World War efforts. This is um, part of their syllabus is, is soil testing so it's really fantastic to have the opportunity to say to them this is a real life example and a case study for them and throughout the year we're approached by external parties and we approach people as well to find things that will just enrich what they're learning to make them as employable as possible. Another project that we've got upcoming is involving ancient hedgerows around a, a village just down the road and the students will go out and do that and that will be completely completely unique. No other student anywhere else in the country will be doing something like that as is today's soil project.